going on everybody happy thursday happy thursday welcome to change the lives hosted by yours truly deontay burton we got an awesome show planned for you guys tonight talking about something that we kind of alluded to a couple weeks ago but i do i did want to revisit it because we did it kind of like on a smaller scale uh before it's just more of a conversation piece but we're talking about are you selling or are you moving at your own speed you know far too often again that's are you selling or are you moving at your own speed Far too often, you have people talk about, you know, when they kind of, you know, on a, the brink of maybe separating or in a certain relationship, and they feel they may be kind of stagnant or in a bad spot with that particular relationship, and they kind of set doing some kind of personal assessment, and they feel that they may not, you know, be doing what's best for them. Mm. And I've heard the words that they may feel like they settling. Settling, okay. And so... But I wanted to have that conversation with everybody tonight in regards to that particular subject matter. So I definitely want everybody to call in and discuss the matter. Well, again, we're asking, are you selling or are you just moving at your own speed? Mm. Before we get started again, I am Deontay Burton to Change the Lives, hosted by Deontay Burton. Uh, before we get started, I want to say what's up to my awesome producer, DJ Lab. What's going on, brother? It's another Thursday. Absolutely. Best day of the week, bro. Hey, hey, it was it was sunny today, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, It started yeah. out cold. I started, when I went to the office today, it was 30, 30 degrees. And you know, I still got a lot of my fly winter gear. I ain't even. <laughs> you ain't pulled out mm. yet. You ain't mm. had the plan to pull it out yet, did you? Mm. Yeah, it's playing tricks on me. Man, I'm out there yesterday. I had my, when it's just, when it go speak at a school, what are they talking about age restrictions? Oh, I can tell you what it is. This cigar. cigar. I learned that recently. With the cigar. Smoking and stuff, they consider that age restriction. They consider like you promoting that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mm. learned that a little, a little while ago. That's with TikTok. That's with all social media just about. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah. Um. Appreciate the information. Yeah. We're going to keep huffing. But, um, <laughs> Gotta uh, be you, gotta be you, or else you'll be just selling. Yeah, man, but you know, uh, I was out yesterday, man, a little fly ensemble on. Mm -hmm. I like, damn, man, I see four walk around, I got my, my coat, sweater, looking fly. Right. Like, damn, why the hell everybody in t shirt and shorts? <laughs> <laughs> well, look, what look confused about it, huh? What are these people are doing their own thing? <laughs> right. Oh, you went back with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Man, look around like, what the hell going on? <laughs> now, I wasn't sweating or uncomfortable. Right, right. And I do think that they were kind of underdressed for the weather. But okay. But I definitely were probably a little over. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, <laughs> right about this time of day, it's, you know, it's still a little nippy and everything. So I ain't going to be out of pocket too much. Right. Well, with my well, sweat and stuff. When I got off work and went to the store, it was a little chilly. I I, got, I had on my little old pullover, yeah. my little business pullover. I was like, shoot. Word out a little bit, and all them girls will tip to the, tip to the store uh, half naked. They, I wish they know they wish they had to put on some clothes. Mm. But yeah, I was good, so we're good to go with that, man. And um, right now, um, I was I was gonna say what's up to my other producer, Slit Three Sixteen. What's up, Reek? Always in the building. She will let you know if you wouldn't say that. Okay, <laughs> I apologize. Reek. A little late. And, uh, tonight's show we're, we're streaming live on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn. TikTok and Twitter, but the main hub is the Changing Lives, hosted by Deontay Burton YouTube channel, where we have over 900 videos on the YouTube channel, covering motivation, uh, parenting, uh, talking mainly from the perspective of myself being a, a, a black father, uh, giving tips and advice, and even just being, you know, somebody single, dating, just giving things from that perspective as well. Uh, also being from divorce, just giving a different angle on certain things uh, uh, with, with different experiences I've had in my life covering the subject matter. And that's why we go back to what we're talking about today. Are you selling or moving at your own speed? Guys, also feel free to call in and join the conversation. The call-in number is 678-740-9894. Again, the call-in number is 678-740-9894. Let me see something right quick. Uh, let me see. Are you on that? Let me see if we can audience. Shoot, it's that and that. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's one of them things. Yeah, they ain't bringing nobody in on uh on the TikTok. On the TikTok, I'll they, tell you what. I'm they too do. strict for me. That's why I don't even mess with TikTok. I'm gonna close the TikTok out. 
And then we're going to bring it back up. Okay. Clean that up, six and everything. So we're going to see if we can get anything rocking and rolling from that. Again, guys, the call in number is 678-740-9894. How was that Valentine's Day for your lab? <laughs> you know what, to be honest with you? It wasn't, it, it was good. I'm going to say it was good because we decided not to do nothing. We decided just to chill out for a minute because these things could get very expensive. And it was okay. I mean, I feel loved every day. I don't need that day to tell me that. So I was good with it. You know, I I was good with it. I, I, I didn't want nothing and I wasn't looking for nothing. So I think it went well. Yes, <laughs> didn't want nothing, wasn't looking for nothing. No, didn't want nothing, wasn't looking for nothing. Story of my life. <laughs> so I, I was happy with it, so I, I'm I'm good with that. I just I just did, I like I like not having to be stressed out about it. To be honest with you, I like not having to be stressed out. I like not having to worry if I'm getting the right gift or, or trying to find the right gift or none of that. I just like the stress was a gift to me. The non-stressful day was a gift to me. I was good with that. Rolling, rocking and rolling for now. Right, I was good with that. Yeah, I, I do think a lot of stuff like that were overrated. Mm. You know, I, I, when I was married, that wasn't ever even really a big focal point with doing certain things either, you know, mm -hmm. and everything and stuff like that. Even though I became single, it wasn't either. You know, I ain't studying it and everything. But <laughs> well, when I was married, it was a big focal point, so really? I can tell that. Really? Yeah, that was like, yeah, that that was, I, I, didn't, I didn't have that pleasure. Me and my wife would go out, but it wasn't no big thing. We right. Go. Nah, that was a big to do. So you know, um, you know, when we're talking about tonight's show, and I, we've had this conversation before, off and on, over you know, over the past year. Or so um, we we're, were speaking about the term settling, mm -hmm. and me and you being in a unique position, being uh, uh, divorced with certain things, you know, and then you know, you go. I, I, I look back at myself when I was really, you know, going through that long splitting phase <laughs> with uh, with my ex-wife. Right. And I remember sometimes, you know, again, you know, when you're going through stuff, sometimes people say things that they might didn't mean, but I, mm. I think she meant this shit. Right. Uh, <laughs> and she said, you know, I don't want to, uh, she said, I don't feel like settling. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Deontay Burton, the type of damn brother you settle for. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, what the hell are you <laughs> I can, I, I can handle you don't like me. Right. I can right. handle you want to be with me. Right. Well, you know, when the hell you selling selling, for this? You selling. <laughs> yeah. So, what, what, the reason why I say that, that's probably just hearing that particular, uh, hearing that, uh, uh, I remember I say that, I usually kind of get a little cringe, I get a little cringy when I hear that term being said in regards mm -hmm. to um, settling. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, and I think it's thrown out too, too often. Too easily? Feet, yeah, too easily. By, uh, by females when they get in in, in relationships. Cause, you know, like I, I said before on the uh, uh, Big Shot, uh, Let's Talk America, uh, when, when I was on uh, uh, Shannon Thornton's podcast, and, like she, you know, asked me that question. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of times, man, I don't necessarily know if it's an issue of people settling. I just think that sometimes we get in relationships and everything. What's going on, Dr. Robinson? Um... I think what it is a lot of time, man, people get in a situation where um, you might make decisions you ne won't necessarily want to make. Mm -hmm. You know, you might second guess yourself. What's going on, Sexy Redbone 28, Lord, tw Lord 11 underscore 26, my brother Dent, what's happening? The, um, you know, what I mean by that, like, sometimes, you know, you might get in a situation like, dang, man, I know her, but I don't know if I know where to, you know, help out with this car note. Right, right. I know her, but I don't know well if I might want to help out with this. Uh, Right, well, I right. know him well enough, but I ain't finna co-sign for this day. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, And right. I think a lot of times people make decisions because it's hard for Poochie to sit here and say, you just had love or had a you know a connection with this person, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, now you're above them or you settling for something that they, that they doing. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I, it happens, though. It does happen. I mean, I think about... I think about your wife kind of said the same thing my ex-wife said. Your ex-wife said the same thing my ex-wife said. Kind of, my ex-wife said, I feel like I'm missing out on something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm missing something. I missed out on something being married so young and having children. Yeah. You know, I, that's the same thing to me. Well, yeah, and I want to get into this disclaimer. I ain't saying it's a damn female thing. But, you know, guys get the same way with certain things about certain 
but we're speaking from our perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, I, I, I just want to get to a man, so I had to. <laughs> yeah, no, I just want to get. I just want to get that that uh, that disclaimer. Right. Uh, with that said, but uh, I, I I think people are very quick to give that out mm-hmm. because of you know their evolution. Right. And you know we start talking about you know uh, the issue of selling. Remember, guys, again the night show we're talking about: Are you selling? Or are you moving at your own speed? Remember, we're streaming live on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, and Twitter. In the event you have to leave, remember, go check us out. It's uh, Change the Lives, hosted by Deontay Bird. You can see the whole video in its full entirety. Or please just you know feel free to call in and discuss or put it in the chat or call in at 678-740-9894. Again, that's 678-740-9894. I think a lot of times like, uh, is that when people start going in certain directions, especially from a... Uh, a personal growth perspective. Uh-huh. When you start saying, "Okay, you know, you're talking about selling and doing certain things," I, I I think when you meet a person at whatever point in life it is, you you have a, a vision of what you think life with that person will be. Mm-hmm. You know, later on down the road, you right? Grow old together, this, that, and that. You want to build this and build mm-hmm. that, right? But that's your vision on what, or right. maybe a vision that y'all discuss with each other, right? Right. But it's not reality. It's not reality until that time comes. Comes, right. Year one, two, three, ten, whatever, mm-hmm. right? And I think, especially when you um, you get older, mm-hmm. in your personal evolution, people don't ask, necessarily look at it in terms of how, how you know, you know, your personal evolution mm-hmm. may not necessarily be, you know, coinciding with your significant other's yeah. personal evolution. But I, I, for me, though, my evolution from I always thought since I was married and I got married so young we kind of grew up together and had uh-huh. children together um, my evolution was I felt like our evolution was entwined like we evolved together I, where it separated is I, I can't exactly tell you but I felt like we grew together like we were we had the same you know what I did know when I when she started telling me about the businesses and we, when I started trying to open certain businesses and she was like Nah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, nah. Even though we would go through the classes and get the register, get the licenses and real estate licenses and broker licenses and hair salon, you know, she go through the hair salon class and got the cosmetology license, and then after that, decide nah. I, don't, I think that's when we start. I, I believe, but I, I could be wrong. That's when the 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 evolution starts separating a little bit. Cause I was still on the. We gonna retire at 50, 55. We gonna be done working. We gonna be chilling back. And she like, nah. But so, what, what a key thing what you just said, Lamb. I and I felt. Mm-hmm. And I thought. I felt. But right. at the end of the day, you know, here's the deal, Lamb. And it is how, how and this was one of the things I had to accept. You, you can be with somebody 10, 20, 30, 40 years. Mm-hmm. You never know what the hell's going on between their years. Like, you really believe, think, whatever, but you really don't know what the hell is going on between their ears. You got a good idea, a good feeling, but you really don't damn know because there's nothing stopping a person from waking up one morning and so saying, I want to be with you no more. Right. But I guess if we're having conversations about it, I'm assuming that that person is telling me the truth about our conversations. And like you said, I don't know. I don't know what was twin head. I'm going by what we've talked about. I'm going by what was discussed. I can't read her mind, so I have to ask questions and to see how it applies. But you're right. I didn't know. She could have been just telling me that to appease me. And, and I ain't trying to be oblivious to anything. Uh-huh. But at the end of the day, like, you know, I think far too often, we we, we, we can be with a person for a while and quote unquote know them, mm-hmm. but we really don't necessarily know if we knew them. Right. We, don't, like, we don't know them for real. They change from year to year. Time, man, you know, 10, 15 years, they change it. I tell you, and this ain't no, you know, no knock on my ex wife. She's a good person, don't get me wrong. But I'm going to be totally honest with you, man. Like, um, when you start going through certain things, and, and, and I think this has come with a lot of guys, with guys, when I say guys, I mean, I'm sorry, people where they go through a divorce. You see a damn person, you ain't know who the hell this is. Mm-hmm. And, and, and a lot of times, you might be like, nah, they want to do this, they want to do that. I, I was sitting my ass right here, <laughs> damn that four or five years ago. Right. And they, they, like, Rico kept telling me, nah, Poochie. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah, that ain't going to happen. Nah, ain't going to happen. Shit. <laughs> Rico like, Poochie, stupid as hell. Nah, Poochie. <laughs> she wasn't, you know, she wasn't cutting, you know, cutting me no slack. Right. And that what was happening. Uh-huh. 
because again, I felt like now nah, she wouldn't do it. Right. And, and one thing I learned about with 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 divorce, and as much as I had been in business, and as much as I had done things for myself, I truly, truly learned. Don't ever underestimate nobody. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like you, I really, 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 because you have a, you 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 know, don't underestimate nobody, but you still have them people like like. Yeah, what well, yeah, they ain't they, they, capable. We, we, we good. Yeah, 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 we yeah, 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 yeah. You got, yeah. I, I, you know, yeah. I take care of her. She take care of me. Yeah, yeah, I take care yeah. of him. You know, some people, man. Yeah, right, right. Because right. you, you just say that some people, you know, they they can do it, but you like some folks, they just no. But I really learned then anybody, anybody can do that. You don't ever underestimate nobody. But what they say when we start talking about that from a, a personal growth standpoint, you know, people just go on different paths. Mm -hmm. You know, you were. You know, like you said, I can be on from an entrepreneurial stage. Hey, we're going to build. We're going to have a legacy. I'm doing this for my family and everything. And then, you know, 10 years from now, they might be stagnant. Yeah. They on some whatever, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 be, they can be deep into the church. Mm -hmm. You can be deep into politics. Right. You can be on a health tick. They on a fun tick. Right. Like, Try that shit. I mean, it's. Kick. They, Try I mean, to be single while they married hey, kick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Love you too, Reek. But you know, I'm tell you something about like you just really, you know, you be on some shit. You just going in a direction like, man, like <laughs> I'm thinking this is cool, right? But they be something totally different, right? Mm -hmm. You and uh, you love cooking and eating and everything. They come home on some vegan shit. <laughs> <laughs> what right. the hell going on? Right. And you know, what I'm saying I remember I had a a a, 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 a girl I really really liked it when I was dating my. Uh, my ex-wife dating mm -hmm. her. Cool girl. Nice this, that, and that. I ain't probably like the better than I like my ex-wife. Uh -huh. You know what threw it off? She called all of a sudden. She's like, well, how about we just do no sex before marriage? I don't even think about marrying or anything. <laughs> that wasn't even on your mind. Yeah, but yeah, now yeah, I'm so, yeah, yeah, thinking about it. Shit, marrying. <laughs> but damn, my whole mind was stuck on sex. <laughs> and she just wanted to do hymns and read the Bible and all that stuff. And I'm sitting there myself... You know, I'm a damn young fool. Right. I'm reading the Bible. Oh, was you fresh out the military? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I, 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 I'm still I, in the military. No, nah, I, 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 I was fresh out of the military. Oh, fresh oh, out of the military. Oh, oh, I'll date her, oh. her and, 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 and make wife at the same time. Uh -huh. I'm telling you, lab. Shit, man, I'm in that old sucker duck joker in there reading the damn. I'm in there reading the Bible with her ass. Think about that. Try, 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 try to loosen, try hey. to loosen them, them screws. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that shit, I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about ass trying to just read the Bible with him. <laughs> Girl, give this damn maybe, scripture. Maybe he's a crack no leg. Mm. Mm. Rubbing her leg, got a Bible on her. She got a Bible on her leg. Stop it, stop it, man. Right. Get that damn Bible out of the way. Yeah. All right. Boy. That changed your mind, did Hell yeah, the, man. The, 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 you evolved right the mm. other way. I don't want to have sex. Huh? Right. Not with 19-year-old Poochie? <laughs> Boy, that's all. Right. Hey. Out the military. Yeah. Out the military. 19-year-old hey, hey. Poochie. I'm out there running two miles with boots on and stuff I got on. I'm running down back here with boots and shit. Right, right. Man, you in the hell. I got plenty of energy, mm -hmm. and I need to use it. You want to read the Bible. <laughs> shit. Not yeah, today. Yeah. Not today, man. It, 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 but but, I, but I, I'm just saying that. Term. Uh, my, my mom came on. Mom. No. What's going on, Chris? What's going on, Curtis Ramsey? How y'all doing? What up, Chris? What's going on? <laughs> you know, the, but that's the thing about it. You know, when we start talking about you selling and everything and that personal growth, I think people really, really, really laugh. I'm not real talk. I don't think people really think about that. Mm -hmm. Especially when you get married. You know? Right. Because, like I said, you at 22, 32, 42, mm -hmm. 52 whole different person. Right. That ain't right or wrong. Everybody just grow. And we can have aspirations that, hey, we want to do this and everything, especially mm -hmm. being 40 son, going through it, you know, you you know, coming out of divorce, you meet females, 40, 50, mm -hmm. and they have different things. They trying to do this and build this. and like, mm -hmm. shit, I ain't built. I'm, I've been in business 23 years. I ain't trying to build a damn thing right. with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> shit, build? Who the fuck trying to build with you? I ain't shit. I ain't what the hell I'm trying to build. Right. I don't even, you know what I'm saying? I'm funny. I don't you want your grandkids right. over. Right. I don't want none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I'm saying. Like, you start looking at that whole 
Sadly, I just think people really, really underestimate that. What does what you think selling looks like in your opinion? In your opinion, not that you given what it is as what what, it, what do you think it looks like? When I hear people say they people say that they ain't selling, I feel like they feel like they doing some shit they don't really naturally want to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Maybe to appease somebody in a situation. Mm-hmm. And I just think of sometimes she you just you where you supposed to be? Well, let me yeah. ask you a question, I, and I and, and this is only because, like you said, I was saying I I. And I'm thinking, I don't know how I put it, because I wasn't the one who thought I was selling. She was, but I'm. I guess what I was gonna say was, I don't know what's in her head. Her head, so she might have thought she was selling. You know what I'm saying? Like, she might have thought I was a downgrade. You get what I'm saying? Or like, she could do better. You feel me? Like, so most definitely that that could be the case. I definitely didn't know it either way. Let me say this. I kind of can look at that same perspective just like I look at everything in business. You always can get better if you're looking. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, your perception of better can just be because it's different. Because, mm-hmm. you know, just like you step out, you might sit here and say, well, look, man, this chick, she fine, she this, that, and that, and she cool for that particular point. You know what I'm saying? You mm-hmm. got your little fun girl or whatever. Mm-hmm. We hanging and all that stuff. At some point, the fun girl going to be... You know, she gon' she been a while. She gonna get comfortable. Right. Same thing with the fun guy, yeah. right? And all kind of other stuff. You know, you leave. You, it can be. And it can be a person. Mm-hmm. It can be a job. It can be a different area. Mm-hmm. Er, things that are different and that's sort of big picture wise gonna be better. It's just different. Right. And at some point, the different shit gonna be the old shit, mm-hmm. right? And I just think sometimes people get it twisted with that. It's, it's red bone saying saying you want saying say you want it one way. And you do the opposite of the big settle, but that uh, again, uh, the point was brought up saying it one way, but you and do it the opposite of the big settle. I um, I, I think that's the, I, I think that's the case if somebody may do something and be a, I, what, what do you mean elaborate on that six red because bone? If you could be doing something one way and knows that you do need to shift and change in another way for the betterment of you, like or for the betterment of your business or. You know what I'm saying? For the betterment of you and your, and your family. So, yeah, she's going to have to elaborate a little bit yeah, on that. Yeah, because, you know, it, it, here's the deal, like, like, I think anytime we go into situations, right, you go into mm-hmm. situations, you say, like, shit, I want to do this with with this particular female, or, you know, you get it with this guy, and y'all on this straight path, you know, you going to school, they start a business, they, they got a new job, y'all move, however you want to go about it. When you start shit, the thing that you start... And the perception mm-hmm. that you feel like that's the way it's gonna go, in reality, two different things. Mm-hmm. You can start at a new job, all of a sudden that shift changes. Mm-hmm. You can get into a relationship, then they have health issues. The kids come up, right? We got mm-hmm. all kind of shit happen, and I think that those kind of things throw off what we originally had. Right? Because you know what I'm saying, you got your girl like, hey, y'all hanging out three in the morning. Hey, let's go get some, some you know, get some Waffle House, right. and all this other kind of stuff. Right. And it's cool because y'all, you met well, you met her. When the kids were gone for the song. Mm. And here they come, like, here this bush. <laughs> I got that. I, got I ain't signed up for yeah, this. I ain't signed up for this shit, right, man. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A little boy, he cussed me and all this other kind of stuff and everything. I ain't signed up. But 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 again, our perception on how things work, be it right or wrong, that's just how it be sometimes. You feel me? They say selling may not be what you want, but you will deal with it. But you will deal with it. What do you mean by for what you want? Yeah, like it might not be what you want, but it's something that you'll deal with. It, it, but that's the thing about it. When people say that, but, but here's the deal. Like, if if I go through a situation, mm-hmm. and with me me and a person together, you and a person together. You got to stop hitting that mic. We're going to fight. I'm sorry that last. <laughs> My bad. Yeah. Keep right here. When you go through a situation, right, uh-huh. and you have it, this is the path where we're going to go, and then... Things happen, uh-huh. and the reality of it, you can't like you didn't anticipate that. Right. You don't have to, you you can think certain things, you hope certain stuff, but when it happens, it happens. Mm-hmm. And just because you know that doesn't mean that you wanted to be that way. Right. You right. know you, you you understand what I'm saying? I get it. Sex and Redbone said, example: If I say I don't want to date men with kids, then I date men with kids is selling to me. Okay, I get it. I get it, because her initial her initial thing was I'm not dating no men with kids, but then she starts dating men with kids. She feel like that's selling because 
maybe she having trouble finding men with no kids or men with no kids that maybe don't check off all the boxes or something like that. So now the men with kids are checking off a lot more boxes than the ones without kids because cool. you're selling. You okay. get what I'm saying? Back to the point where the night show. Are uh -huh. you selling or are you moving at your own speed? Right. At the end of the day, some people can command dot, 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 dot. Mm. Now, if you're sitting out in the majority of the pool of men that you're around, have kids. Mm -hmm. I don't want to date men with kids, right? Mm -hmm. And you said that say the men that don't have kids, for some odd reason, they're not having no pull of attraction to you. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason. Right. Location, social status, well, we ain't even gonna put no looks in there, right? But the thing that you typically want is not gravitating to you. Right. right? At the end of the day, uh six red bones said thanks, Lamb. Mm -hmm. But that's the thing, <laughs> if if that particular thing is not gravitating to you, is that selling a reality? You see what I'm saying? Well, well like, I guess, I guess, I guess it still will be settling because you're still not going by the standards of. It's like, like you say, like you say yourself. I don't want to date uh, a woman that don't have her own her own house or or don't have a car. Yeah. And you, you know, what I'm saying you you still got that standard that you don't have a woman with a car. But shit, you lonely now. So now you're going to pick up a couple people. I've always said that everybody's entitled to personal preference. Right. Everybody's entitled to personal preference. Right. I've been the type to say, hey, man, you crazy. Why you want this? Why you want that? Or whatever. Mm -hmm. Everybody's entitled to it. But at the end of the day, we start talking about personal preference and all that kind of stuff. She, you know, if you ain't pulling in what you keep saying you want, <laughs> what we doing? Now, well, a person that got options right. can change their mind. But, but I, guess what, I guess what we're saying is it, we may not have... We may have the perfect. The, we may have the personal preference, and we may not be pulling that, but we still have that standard. And if we choose to go against that standard to pick someone else that might not be up to that standard, that's still settling. Because the reason why it's settling because we're not we're not pulling the, the people we want, so we're gonna settle for the people that necessarily are not fit that bill. That's it, still settling. It, so you're saying that you could be settling. You could be just your. I'm gonna get clarity. Okay. So you feel like that you could be settling for an option that you don't even have. No, no. I'm saying, yeah, you can't be selling if, if just because you haven't found an option yet, you you may get tired of looking, and then as soon as you start selling for not the option, that other option may come along. So yes, any time that you just choose to do something else that you normally would not do. You you may be selling yes, even though you're not grab like I may want a job that pays me two million dollars a year, mm -hmm. but I'm having to settle for this job that pay me eighty thousand dollars a year. That doesn't mean I still don't want the two million dollar job. It means I just gotta settle for this so I can eat. But if you but 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 with that said, I get what you're saying. Okay, my thought process is. You ain't selling on some shit that you ain't on an option you ain't got. I that's no, that's reality. No, option I haven't got yet. I, in my mind, I'm still going to get it. It's just a matter of time. But until the meantime, I'm settling for this. Okay. I get it. Okay. <laughs> I get it. You get what I, I'm saying? I get what you're saying. I'm still, hey. I still want the $2 million job. But if I'm going to eat and pay a few bills, I need to take this $80,000 job and settle for this for right now until the, I keep looking for the $2 million and grab and that grabs me. What you looking for? Oh, the lighter. What did you do with it? Oh, right here, the okay. paper. But you know, no, I I understand that point. But it's still it reverting back to at the end of the day. Uh, I see Rika putting a couple comments in there. She said, "When men don't like to date BBW, but those are the only ones coming to you, onto you." Say, I, I, yeah, I get it. Uh, you was the thin girl, but everyone you try to talk to don't want to talk to you. So. That's that's the shit I'm talking about. <laughs> so you talking mean, about what Rick is talking about? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I I, I hear people with a lot of preferences. Right. Sexy Redbone said, I, uh, "Yes, you are. You know what you want." And I think we sell a lot in aspects of life. I, I, I just feel like when we use the word "settle," mm -hmm. uh, what we doing is I think it's more of a reality. Settling is a lot of time what I figure, and again, it's my opinion. Mm -hmm. I I think when I hear people say they settling. That mean you got other options, cause you know I'm a straight up. If you can get better, go do better. If you want better, do better. So, so what you saying? If you don't have an option, you're not selling. You just get what you can get. Absolutely. 
Hey, 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 lamb, lamb, check this out. Hey, I get check what this you out. Check I this out, lamb. If you're not in the pool with them folks, how you swimming with them? Lamb, check this out. Okay. I ain't got no job. Uh-huh. Right? I ain't got no dang job, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, but, uh, uh, but I got five people pursuing me. I got all these different offers, great benefits, packages, you know, 401k, stock options, this, that, and five or six people doing it, money great. I got what? I got options, right? 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 right. I ain't got my one person offer me a job. Now, the next thing, I got one person offer me a job. Right. I do what? Take the job. Right. Right? Am I settling? No, I don't have no other options. <laughs> I don't have to, I, I, I'm It depends saying. on how you're looking for it because you could be selling because the bills have got a little bit behind. You ain't got time to wait. We could we could twist this thing how you want. We could twist it like a presser and dip it in mustard. I'm telling you, you could <laughs> you could you could say I'm selling now because I got to pay some bills, but I'm still looking for. Do you get what I'm saying? Like I get what you say. I understand that if I'm if I'm not swimming with the shark, if I'm not in the pool with the sharks, how I'm swimming with them, right? I, I get what you're saying. Like, if if I want a girl that's 5'7", 37, 29, 37, but I keep pulling the 44, 45, 48, <laughs> am I, you know what I'm saying? Am I really selling or that's what I'm getting? I get what you and Rika said. I do. But in my mind, I'm still going to get that 27, 29, 27. You get what I'm saying? 37. Hey man, I'm sitting there like in the, your preference is your preference, <laughs> but your reality is your reality. Mama said, "Hey, hey, mama." What's up, mama? What's it took going you on? Awful long time to come here big, today, mama. Big shout out to mama. Mama got that award at the uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, mama got that award. I saw the picture. I'm in school. My mom, mom got recognized this weekend as second annual caregiver awards for 41 years of experience as a caregiver and stuff. It was a beautiful. Uh, 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 ceremony and uh -huh. everything like that, and it was cool. And it was cool, man, seeing so many other people that had been, you know, caregiver for people, sharing uh -huh. their stories and stuff. Yeah. But it was real good, especially to get recognized, and that was real good. Um, all my kids uh, were there, I my saw sister the and my nephew. So it was all good. It was, it was real cool. So, you know, congratulations. I'm proud of it, and I love you, Mama. Good. Congratulations, Mama. Yeah. Hey, one of the pictures, Mama looked like somebody was on her nerve. Mm. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> you know, mama was cool. Mama, mama looked like she about to snatch somebody up. Nah, nah, nah. She, she, she cool. She just cool. Might have been an angle in there. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Congratulations, mom. We very proud of you. That's right. That's right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very Just say you don't like the word, sir. <laughs> <laughs> You, but, 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 but like I said, like, I'm a big proponent uh -huh. in personal preference. I, I get it. Right. I have no problem right. uh, with doing it. But you got to make a decision at some point. Look, man, look, I, I want this because, you know, I don't want this. I don't want that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you an example. When we were in the field in the military, I remember my first time, I didn't like the potted meat and all this other kind of stuff. <laughs> right. And I'm like, I ain't eating that shit. I ain't eating that shit. Right. We had that 45 days. Uh-huh. I, I stay strong by a good week and a half. Uh -huh. And I'm out there, I'm talking about I'm eating that devil, whatever the little devil stuff, uh -huh. with my fingers and stuff. Cause I'm so damn hungry. <laughs> I was so hungry, man. Them MREs, man, it was right. just some of the nasty, if you form a military, you know, it's some of the nasty shit. But it's like by, by week two, man, it's damn near like it's a del uh, delicacy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm eating shit I wouldn't dread. <laughs> because you had no other choices. No other choices. So was you selling? No, I was saying that was a reality. Okay. Reality. <laughs> okay. So, and, 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 and that's the thing about it, Lab. When people start looking at it from, you know, from those particular dynamics, just looking like, hey, man, what what are we trying to do? Because, you know, you can, you can have, you know, you, you know from, from, from an aesthetic standpoint, how a person looks and stuff like that, this mm -hmm. is what I want, career standpoint, I, this is what I want and everything. That's cool. But I just think sometimes people have to be realistic about what they're attracting. And also... Looking at it, some some things that we can have our preferences mm -hmm. of what we want, but we also don't. Uh, I think really uh, think hard enough about the other stuff. Okay. Like I say, I could just say, look, I want you know, thick, short, pretty, pretty, educated, all this stuff, all these things, right? Right. But is she, you know, loyal? Is she faithful? Right. Does she got health issues? Does she got mental issues? Does she got 
children issues, parent issues, family issues, job issues, mm-hmm. all this other shit come in. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's what I think a lot of times people miss out on. Okay. Right? Okay. Because at the end of the day, I get with a chick. I, I got I got to deal with the other stuff, mm-hmm. with the family, the health, and all this other kind of stuff. Right. right? I'm not tripping, and they got to do it with me too. Right. And a lot of times, folks be like, I ain't signed up for this shit, but like, they ain't signed up for your shit either. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and you say it a lot, like now, everybody wants you when they when you're up. Right. And you when a person wants your ass when it down, that may be some shit they try to make them a little damn Frankenstein. <laughs> So I'm gonna dress him up, cut his hair, dress him up, and dust him yeah, off. Cut his hair, old Bill the Bell brother. Right, you know right, what I'm saying. Right. You know, just kind of like, well, I'm just do this. I, I remember um, I seen an interview a couple of years ago with uh, K. Michelle. Okay, I mean, she had a baby by the basketball player. Okay, and I man, I'm, it, it, it was it was so funny how she was so damn brutal and honest. She was just like, look, I seen this guy. He was cute. She said, but he didn't have too much money. So I figured I got the money. I can control the situation. This is exactly what she said. Uh-huh. She said, I figure I, I got the money. I can control the situation. Right. So I you know, I can just kind of dress him up, do this, that, and that. She said, like, after why he got comfortable, that's when she had, got pregnant by. Uh-huh. But she like, after a while, she said, this fool want to call the shots and everything like that, you know. Uh-huh. But that was a classic example. Like, look, I, I, I see that, look, this could be a good project. Right. I can mold it and do it. But you can't. Right. You can't. And sometimes you feel like, you know, I want to control it. That go for men and women. Right. You know what I'm saying? I got that little young girl. She's going to do this, that, and that. And eventually she's going to grow. Right. Same and she's going to evolve. They're going to evolve. They can evolve mentally. They can evolve in their pockets mm-hmm. or whatever. And I just think a lot of times people don't really, you know, get at the proper credence in regards to thinking about those particular things. Mm-hmm. Dude, you said, like I said, man, we start talking about that, 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 that whole option. We're right. looking at it like... Where are you at with everything? Mm-hmm. What direction are you going on with life? And do we kind of uh, coincide with it? Because mm-hmm. I, I guess in my mind, where I'm at like right now in life, you know, uh, I look at it from a perspective of I'm cool where I'm at and I can be cool with the direction of the person I'm right. going in. Right. As long as I ain't kind of like, you know, go against my moral compass. Mm-hmm. Still kill things like that. Right. right? Just, just, but, that's a little something, yeah. something different. Okay. And, 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 and I can say this too. Me when I got a divorce and me now. Totally different. Nah, it ain't totally different. But, but it's a lot a little, different. Nah, it ain't a lot, but some shit I'm a little probably a little more flexible on. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But Well, I'm totally but, different. Well, me you me told from me. my divi- my my marriage and divorce mm-hmm. to now I'm a totally different person. What's up, Trey Nicole? Appreciate it's you. Totally coming different. In. Totally different. Yeah, I, I think I'm I'm well In a good in a good different. way or a bad way, Lab. I, I think I'm uh I think I'm different in a bad way. <laughs> I think I'm different. Hey, you robbing man. banks and shit. Well, no, what, I just what was I, I be, previously I cared about about people's feelings and what they thought and how they felt about certain things and making sure they was good. Now I don't give a fuck. <laughs> was that because of the situation or because your evolution over the years? I think it's more because I see that me caring about folks and loving folks the way I do doesn't necessarily pay off. So it's like. I'm not gonna do that anymore. You get what I'm saying? Like I don't. I'm not gonna waste that type of energy on anybody. I'm not gonna waste any of that energy on anybody. I'm not gonna compromise or nothing. If I don't want to do it, I'm not doing it. If I don't want, if I want, if I want to buy it, I'm buying it. There's nothing. There's nothing I'm compromised on. If you don't like it, the mug tell me to go. I go. I just because previously it was like I was like. It's all about making sure she good, making sure they good, making sure that this person good, making sure that person good. And now those people wasn't necessarily making sure I was good. You get what I'm saying? So I'm not doing that no more. That I'm 53. I ain't got but a few summers left. So I'm trying to do what makes me happy in a few summers, not what makes somebody else happy. I respect that. I can that's respect it. That. And I think that's on the bad way because I really had a big heart before. Like, But that it's, it's closed off now. But you know something like that? Uh, as unfortunate it may be, we have to have some kind of trauma and a negative experience happen to us in life for us to kind of, uh, and I don't think it's a bad thing. We right. evolve to understand, like, like shit, you know, you know, that probably ain't the best way for me, big picture. Right. right. I was naive. I was very green and naive because I was married for so long. So I was in that bubble of marriage. You get what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Mm-hmm. And once you get out that bubble of marriage, that's when the world hits you because all I did was go to work, come home. Take care of my kids, my wife, whatever, whatever. I need the outside world. I had my world inside the house. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but once that bubble bust, it was like, wow, 
like you can't really even care about folks no more out in, out here in these in these streets. Yeah, because you know the the the, the thing. Yeah, and, and again, guys, now we're talking about are you selling the moving at your own speed. What you find out real quick is as time go on, especially with raising children and just dealing with people, family members, relationship, whatever. You know, um, your focus be other people, but at the end they they focus can be where they focus is, and their evolution gonna be where they are. Mm-hmm. Your kids grow up. You right. don't know if your kid's going to sit here and do certain things for you. Right. I mean, we could either be 20, 30 years from now, I'm sitting in the car with a damn pamper full of piss. <laughs> right. And, and that's know, true. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's very and, true. And, My and, children and, the same way. Yeah, and, and, and you don't know what, what people going to do. Right. You hope. You hope. That was very, you, you, you know, I'm, I'm sitting there listening to people share their stories about the caregivers on Sunday. James Payne say, I feel you, lad. You know, James Payne. What's he, up, James? That's my best friend. That What's Payne, up, James? Yeah. <laughs> what up, Payne? You feel me, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, but, 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 you know, just when I would listen to those people sharing those stories about I've taken care of my mother, I've taken care of my spouse and all this other kind of stuff, mm. people being selfless, and that was cool. Mm-hmm. But sometimes, and that can work out a lot. Right. But it also can backfire on your ass. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. Real talk, lad. You don't damn know. Mm-hmm. You can sit here and just say, hey, I got this particular thing. You don't know, raise your kids the right and everything. Right. You can send your girl to college and all this other kind of stuff. And, mm-hmm. and that's what happened a lot of times when people, I think what happened when we start hearing the word settle a mm-hmm. lot. I, my, my, what, what I view is what, what happens is, it's not that people settling, it's your evolution didn't coincide with their evolution. Mm-hmm. They might not even had an evolution. Mm-hmm. So you might have got things in a certain way. Look, you know, I might have just done worked over years. I progressed. I got this crib, and I'm trying to do this stuff and everything. Mm-hmm. We got the kids out of the house. Baby girl, let's go on some vacation trips. Mm-hmm. I don't want to do nothing. Right. Hey, let's go do this, that, and that. Right. I don't want to do I just want to sit home and just, what? Right. You know, young lady, lady, you know, you might say, okay, now we're out here 45, 50 years old. We got the kids out of the house. Baby, let's go cruising. Man, like, no, I just want to stay out there in my garden. Mm-hmm. He just want to do that. You want to go out and have some drinks. You still want to be with your significant other. Right. But they on some other shit. Right. And you got, you know what I'm saying? Right. And everybody different. You right. you know, one of them went to college and they got this good job. Right. And they want to go certain places and stuff. Your significant other, they still a good person, but they ain't comfortable going to these uh, different events and mm-hmm. shit like that, right? Mm-hmm. They, it, it ain't their thing. But them things are confusing. Me. And you know what? That... That how I guess I, I want to say that's how I guess you know a person feel like they a person's uh, evolution has split from yours because you know a person can start out wanting and doing exactly the same things that you want and do you get what I'm saying like at at a certain point like when I when I told my ex wife look when we was like 35 I said look we grind this out for 20 years you know what I'm saying by 55 we gonna be good I was all we I was already in the path. Of flipping houses before houses started because I had a mentor who was showing me how to flip houses. So I'm like, we flip these houses, we buy these apartment buildings, do this, do this. He go, he's showing me how to do it, blah, whatever. I said, we'd be good. You already got a real estate license, we got broker's license, let's do this. Mm-hmm. And I guess when I said grind it out for 20 years, she was like, hell no, I'm not grinding it out for 20 You know what I'm saying? Like, And that's when the evolution splits because at first it was like, yes, 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 let's do this, let's do this. And then when I said grind it out, I started giving a 20-year plan. It was like, nah, uh-uh, hell no. Nah. But did the evolution split or was the evolution going in? You know, because here's the deal. Well, I, let me say, it's, it, it cracked at that point, Cause, I cause guess. I'm, I'm going to tell you this. Or it might have been already split. Well, well, well in, in, in my, hold on a second. Wait, wait. But okay. the, 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 the thing of it is, is I, I look at it from perspective. Sometimes the evolution you know, even with split, do they you, your pathway and their pathway? It be good, cause uh-huh. sometimes you know it can be good until the actual uh, 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 residuals right of your growth start showing right. Because like, okay, look, I'm on a different career path, and I say, look, I'm gonna go get, you know, what I'm saying, I'm gonna go get my CDL, mm-hmm. or I'm gonna go get my MBA, I'm gonna do this, that, and that. And what? Well, a lot of times, what come from that? We get in there, I'm gonna get my certificate, my real estate license, mm-hmm. or whatever. What those kind of things take time. Mm-hmm. It might take away from the crib. Right. Then you turn around and get it. Now you got another job. That job pulling you away. I'm right. on the road. Right. I'm in the office. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here selling car houses and stuff like that. Like this ain't the shit I signed up for. I thought you were just gonna get that license and make more money and do certain things. Well, this is shit gonna take more money. And at the end of the day, I'm, and you know what? You happy being on the road. 
You happy selling them houses. Right. You happy made a job. But now your, your, your significant other, like, hey, girl, you, you need to get your ass at home. Mm. But you sent me to grad school. Right. You don't want to say it, you know, it would right. get my, you understand what I'm saying? But but see, the thing, I, I guess what I miss, uh, miss, miscommunicated was all those things with school and getting the certifications we did together as a team. Because we knew what the what we were planning on doing, you get what I'm saying. It would be different. I would have seen it differently if I would say I'm gonna go to school, get the broker's license and the real estate license and and this. And she was like, I ain't doing that because she had already been to school. She had a a, a, a BSN and all that, so she was good. So, you know what I'm saying? Like she like probably was tired, but she did it with me. We did it together. So do you think was the shift in regards to the commitment of doing or just? I think the commitment yeah. shift because she had she she the one went to got the got the uh, cosmetology license because she was doing hair at home. Yeah, I what I've noticed over the years, man, and it's just me being in business, and I never you know anybody know me. I don't be on no get your own business and do your own thing. I just know what's good for Poochie mm -hmm. is good for Poochie. Right, and I don't try that now because it's. Any friend of mine say, hey, man, I'm looking to start this, that, and that. I give my spiel, mm -hmm. but I don't ever just say, well, this is what you need to do. Quit your job and don't work for this. I don't ever get none of that shit with nobody. But I say this to say that a lot, what I've noticed with a lot of time with, with a lot of people, people have these aspirations, but they don't want to do the bullshit to get, get here. to it, right. You see what I'm saying? And so at the end of the day, yo, 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 the, you can have these aspirations, but if you're not willing to make the sacrifice to mm -hmm. get to this point, mm -hmm. You got to be realistic. And you may not know until you start on Doing that journey, right? right? So your stuff may just pause here. The problem come up a lot of times is that when you together and y'all got these aspirations, y'all aspirations, mm -hmm. and one does this and the other just get here, and it doesn't make them any uh, worse a person. Right. It doesn't be, but at the end of the day, it got to be some kind of acceptance. When I'm more excited than you are all of a yeah, sudden. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, we good. Yeah. Like, cause, you know, I got my master's degree. She got her nursing degree and all that. We already got that part. But, now hey, we going back and getting all this other stuff and she like, uh-uh. Yeah, and, 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 and I can see that shit being devastating. Mm -hmm. But just say shit. I got this. I'm cool. You, ha you know, because I can't, I can't, um, and you right, Slick. I, I believe that she felt like she was going to be settling on just a business aspect and not having any fun. Yeah. Because we had already been married for so long. We had kids. We really did miss on a, on a lot of things that you would do as you were single. Mm -hmm. And I think she just wanted to be fun and single. And all that extra work to get to 55 wasn't in her plans. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And that shit tough. Yeah. When you got a vision and they got another vision. Right. But especially when y'all start... You like, hey, you know, just we like, running, we running hey, this marathon. I'm passing hey, her the baton. Hey, y'all walking in the park. They <laughs> like, hey, we know we're finna walk five laps. Right. And you like, okay, your mindset. I'm finna get these five laps in. Yeah, we right. go to the track. Right. And they get the lap three. And they like, oh I'm good. shit, let's go on and go. No, nah, let's go on and get this shit out of the way. <laughs> we here, let's go and get it. Yeah, let's go and get it. Let's go on and get it. Cause your mind, to go. your mind zone right. to get the five laps in. Right. No, 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 I'm tired, my bad. All kind of shit hurt me. Right, right. You know, no, 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 let's go on and get it done. Yeah, exactly, and that, right. man, that is that is one of the toughest things. That's, yeah. And, and I don't, I'm, I'm going to be very, very honest with you. I think people have to be realistic about certain things. Like, you you know, when you, and, and it's very, it's, it's tough. Because you, a lot of times, can still be, you love a person. Mm -hmm. But you got to be realistic, like, look, I love this person. But do I love them more than me? Right. Because you ain't got number one you. And then what we sometimes, it, it, it's tough because when you've been selfless so long, to your point, uh -huh. your family, my significant other, da 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 and sometimes like, look, they ain't giving a shit about me like I give a damn about them. Right. And that'll wear your ass out because you giving out a certain output but getting a, a whole out. yeah, but you ain't getting nowhere near that kind of input. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes you start getting like, hey man, I can't do these particular things. Mm -hmm. And so when some people say to me when I hear the word selling with certain stuff, I, you got to be realistic about what you're gonna be able to get from that per person right. from an input standpoint, right? Right? And 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 you cannot. Yeah, one key thing you know, I don't want to get away from that is you can't get confused. About some other shit you getting, or, or, or experiences, is that that's gonna be you know that, that that that's that's what you feel like you deserve. Cause hey, what's the old adage? 
when a man get married, that first wife, you know, he love and care yeah. about and all that other kind of stuff. But that second wife, that's what he feel he deserves. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, you know, you know I what I'm saying? Heard that one. Hey, the first one, like, he love with this, that, that, that's what he got, right? All right. All right but that second that wife, that's the one I deserve. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit, this well, is I did this backwards. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I yeah. thought I deserved the first yeah, wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that second one, like, this is the shit I deserve. Hell no, nah, this is what I want. Right, we both you know, on the path to cause. We getting our thing yeah, together. I'm yeah, like, yeah, buddy. Yeah, no, no, no. All I'm going to do at 55 is cash checks. Nah, <laughs> you, you on that certain mix a lot. 34, 24, 36. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. That's what, <laughs> that's what we go on. And a lot, of, and, that's, and that ain't just subject, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, specific to me. A lot of times people are getting to that. Like, this right. is what I feel like I deserve. Cause they done done certain things. Uh -huh. I, I done got to this point, you know. And you, and you hit. That's when you hit on certain things. Right. Because a lot of times, when when I've heard that, it's because you know. Uh, usually you hit a subtle term more from women, but guys feel certain certain way. They felt they have done certain things. They got to uh -huh. a different income level, different social level. Right. Man, why you ain't doing this? Why you ain't doing that? I see my partner wife. She doing this. Why the hell you ain't go down? You ain't gonna walk around. You ain't gonna do shit. Right. You know, damn. You know, do this, that, and that. That ain't her. Right, that ain't what she do. Your ass going to the gym every day, boom. Uh -huh. Same thing with the ladies. Hey, you ain't gonna do this, you ain't gonna get your hair cut, da 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 da. Damn, baby, I'm just shit. I'm just me. I just want <laughs> I got out of work, I wanna just sit and chill. Right. Cause she's seeing these other cats doing Right. You know what I'm saying? And I think that that's where shit get twisted. It? With like, okay, so that's I'm still like, for this nigga, he ain't gonna get his hair cut. Yeah. Right. I know all these men out here on the social media. Getting their hair cut, they got their beards trimmed up. They wearing fedoras and suits and and and, and uh, nice ass Balmain shoes. And your man got books shots. Right, <laughs> the, the, the Steve McQueen shoes matching their suits and their ties and you all know. that. And this nigga, he got on a suit, a garbage man overalls and buck shots in the back of his head. Hey, lay up. You know, I you could know. do better. No, your boy, a pretty boy, but I ain't never know how to help man get nap ass face. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> and she started thinking she could do better. Yeah, yeah, yeah real right, talk. Right, right. And not just the hers, the him too. You start right. seeing certain things. But like I always say, the new shit at one t at some point going to be what? The old, old shit. shit. Right. And at the end of the day, they going to have a whole list of shit too. And I think sometimes it's not a really appreciating what you, it's not, I don't necessarily know if it's an issue of appreciating what you got. I think it's about going back to the self, being realistic about certain mm -hmm. things. Yeah. Uh, Slick so says people think about time. You get in so much time with someone that you don't want to let go. Well, that's everything. Yeah. That's everything with life. You don't pay so much money on this damn car. You know you can't afford it. You don't want to let them down. You, you know you need to let them go and repo this shit. Right. Go and get, you know what I'm saying? You know you cannot continue right. to do it. You still, hey, well, you hiding in the car. On that that shit breaking down and you still hiding the damn car. I can't keep on these damn notes. I can't keep on these damn notes, man. Right. You really want to come get this shit, but right. you done put so much money into it. It's about right? to be like giving it away. Hey, hey, hey you see that so many times. You need businesses. Mm -hmm. Man, I done did this. I done did that. I done cleared out my 401k, I can't let it shit go. Yeah. But you know you can't keep it. Right, you can't right? sustain and it. And it's the same thing. I know that woman don't want me. Uh -huh. I know she don't give a damn this, that, that she ain't happy. Right. I come home, dude leaving out my house. I ain't mean, no way in the hell. <laughs> hey, my TV ain't broke that damn much. TV ain't she sure that is getting a lot of pizza to me. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. Why they pick? You know what I'm saying? Where the pizza box? Brad, is? Cut, why the hell the lawn man coming over twice a week? <laughs> what the fuck is right. going on? And why the hell are you in your damn nightgown when the lawn man? <laughs> why? You... Huh? Well, yeah. Huh? Exactly. Mm -mm. Exactly. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh no hell, no hell, man. Six Red Bone said, ain't nothing like a man in a blue suit with sneakers insider. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Negroes. <laughs> oh, see what I'm saying? So Boy. then Six Red Bone be like, oh, he ain't got on the blue suit with, with the, what's, what'd she say? With, with, with sneakers. With sneakers on. He got on a green suit with with uh, gators. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, hell no. Hell no. <laughs> I'm selling. Hell no. <laughs> I'm selling. Nobody won't be dealing with nobody with no Stacey Adams on. <laughs> I take Pooch out of the mix. <laughs> I ain't never one of damn super sneakers, man. I have. Uh, yeah. I ain't never did that. Hey, you know? boy, hey, 
I ain't gonna. I don't want to say when it was, but one time you saw me at 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 at, at yeah. I had on the shorts. Well, well, you know, you stay fly though. I, you stay fly. You know, you, I had on that short fly. suit. I had no them eye guy socks up to my yeah. knee with the fly shoes on. Yeah, but you you know looking like, like I, alfalfa. Hey, hey, you know you looking fly. <laughs> See the thing good here, like you know, I I got that old school vibe. So you know yeah, what I'm saying, just right. that and everything. And I and I never I I I, I, I say this. I say this. And I always live by this. People got to just be cool with themselves and right. cool reality. Because and I think that's where a lot of people miss them. They lose themselves within certain things that they're doing, be it job, be it relationship, be it whatever it is that they're consuming themselves with. They lose themselves within it. I'm speaking from experience because, like I told you before, when we had this discussion a long time ago, once I got divorced, I had to figure out what the hell I like. Because I was so, I was married. I was doing everything that they like. The kids, my wife, everybody, whatever they like to do, I wanted to do it. But once we got divorced and the kids were 20 and 25 years old, I had to figure out what the hell I like. Man, do I like, you. and I literally sat down on the couch and said, do I like this? Do I like hey, that? Hey, the key thing, Lab, am I getting fun, confused with reality? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Am I getting fun, confused with reality? Right. Because like I said, the new fun shit at some point going to turn into the old shit. And, 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 and real talk, real talk, now all the other BS. Right. That you, and it may, be a, it may be different from what you got. Right. But at some time it evolved. Yeah, and that's why I say sometimes when people say, well, I can get this and I can get that and everything. Because and you, you can assert, but it may be a certain capacity. Right. Because sometimes people can give you what they want of themselves. Mm -hmm. And, and, and whatever discretion they want. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, it's fun, it's fun, it's fun. You walk out of some shit, I don't know. Right. I don't want to do it like that. You, 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 right. You, you feel me? I get what you're and saying. And like, no, 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 it was good. It was good when you had your man. Right. No, no, no. <laughs> or you were cool when you had your girl, but like, I ain't say all that now. Right. No, no, it was cool. You just coming over this, that, what you trying stay to do? Stay with her. Yeah, stay with her. <laughs> stay with her. <laughs> Stay with him. Yeah, yeah, don't and do come that. Come see me on, uh, on yeah, 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 Tuesdays yeah, yeah. and Thursdays, like you've been to. Man, I, man, I thought you wanted me. You know, I, you know, I, I left the job. Right. You say you wanted me all the time. No, that, 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 that ain't what the hell I meant. <laughs> That's pillow talk. Yeah, it's that pillow talk. <laughs> that ain't what I wanted. No. I'm not to say anything while I'm in mean you. Man, absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Speaking in tongues. Uh, oh, okay, who saw that? Like I, I saw that. me <laughs> say, I saw me say, I gotta stop talking while I'm having sex. Mm. I owe this girl two cars in the house. Yeah, I love you, boo. Yeah, I love you, boo. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, you promising all kind of shit. You can't deliver on. Can't deliver at all. You ain't got your own house. That shit sound good. It sound good. Boy. Right, boy. right. There you boy. have it. Well, she looking at shit like, man, you know I can't, I can't do that shit at all. <laughs> Hell, I, I, you know, hell, I, I done damn, you know, came for I can't even get half of that damn loud. <laughs> Right. Hey, reality. Hey, that reality. Don't, don't get it twisted, man. Right. But 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 but, but those one of the things, man. Cause, you know, uh, I I alluded, you know, just you know, still on subject, but even outside other stuff, you know, you look at certain professional athletes, and they'll sit there and say, I think you, when we go through that, especially the off season, a lot of times, guys say, I want a two hundred million dollar country, uh -huh. three hundred million, or whatever this, that, and that, and the market will dictate it. Right. If they feel like they can do it, you can do it. Some guys. You know, LeBron James go in the world. Right. I want this, I want that. You know, they're going to get LeBron what he wants. Right. Hey, hey, they, not that they give it to him. They are, he'll go on a tour of getting suited. You right. know, where they're, hey, we, we they lay the whole thing right, out. Right. And all this other kind of stuff. Just like you see the athletes when they're getting heavily recruited. Uh -huh. They lay the whole spread out. If you come here, do this, that, and that. They have options of getting that certain thing. Right. Some folks just... Yeah, they still trying to just get something. Somebody something. call. Them. Somebody call. Them. Somebody call off from a contract. What well, that was? What was uh? It was last week with National Signing Day. Uh huh. Oh, some crying ass families out there. Really? Because they were sitting out there thinking they want to go to this school. Uh huh. That school didn't want your ass in the schools that probably you could have had opportunity to go to. I already hey, picked you, somebody. You know, you know no turn place. turns your nose up to them. Then you see you ain't got shit. Right. Ain't going nowhere. That's why you see a kid that probably had a smaller, big school. Like uh -huh. say, man, had an opportunity to maybe go to a. Georgia State or Georgia Southern, uh -huh. but they end up going to, now I ain't knocking nobody, I'm just saying, they end up going to West Georgia. Right. Because at one point they felt they wanted to go to UGA. Uh -huh. 
but you just didn't want you. Right. But, but they call you, they talk to you, but they really didn't want you. Right. But the thing that was a little bit less than that, you really, because you're waiting on that. Right. And that shit gone. Now, now, now you're back at hey, home. In your mind, McDonald's. well, I got to sell it. You ain't sell it, this what you got to get. Right, that's what you get. Exactly. I, okay, now you said that hey, way. Hey, 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 sometimes for be playing If Georgia State ain't knocking at your door, and hey, hey, West Georgia hey, is. Hey, hey, that's what I, what I said before. <laughs> when you got five or six people offering you, you yeah. offer something, you, you got options. Right. When you got shit, you just take the job. <laughs> so they say some people see other people's life and they want it. It don't matter what they had to, what they do to live. They what they do to live that life or what happens behind closed doors. They, hey, 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 and and if you can live with certain stuff, that's it. You know, I, I have conversations with people. You know, I try to be kind of transparent with a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. And you know, I man, I work like hell. Right. If anybody know me personally, I work. When it's time to work, I work. But don't get it twisted. Hours a day. Yeah, twenty hours a day, so I had to work for the week. Hours a week. <laughs> but when I when I want to chill and I want to party, right, I'm gonna party, right, right. So if I want to sit here, don't get it twisted. If you see a post, I'm smoking a cigar. This that, that. I gotta work. You, you yeah. work. <laughs> you, think, you don't think I, I just, damn work? I just woke up from going to bed at uh, eight o'clock this morning. Come on, on now. <laughs> Come on now. And you know what? My life is good for me. Right. I don't put that on nobody else. Right. But don't get it twisted. I do what I do so I can do what I want to do. Right. 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 And a lot of times, people can get that confused. Right. And think, well, I want a certain thing. I want to do this. I want to do that and everything like that. I heard a lot of bullshit like that when I'm going through a divorce. You'd be like, what the fuck? Now, I don't know if that was just, <laughs> that was just know, talk. anger, talk, or that whatever. Talk. But like I say, you got all the time to do that shit now. Have at it. That was talk. Have at it. That have was at talk. It. But you know, but, but with that said shit, talk is still talk. Uh-huh. Words are words. You know, got to stand on shit. You say right. you want to do it. That's right. cool. And I'm not knocking nobody because at the end of the day, uh, like that movie Pursuit of Happiness, what a person wants to get, a person, you know, you, right. you, you're, you can have a preference-wise what you want to do. What but see, you know? on, that, on that same example, see, that's what I'm talking about. You just use a good movie for a good example. Mm-hmm. This man had nothing offered to him, but in his mind, he wanted that job at that particular place. Had he given up and said, "I'm gonna go ahead and settle because I ain't at, I ain't got no, and I ain't got no other offers," you get what I'm saying? Instead, of, he took what he could get in order to feed his child, but at the same time, he still was reaching for more. He had mm. aspirations for better. So, is that selling or is that just taking it now? while you reach your other goals? I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what we're doing because technically, he didn't have anybody. At, at, Reaching down to pick him up to to get what to get what I'm saying, but he kept reaching up. Now I wish they showed more of that story because <laughs> I can't see no damn me standing in no damn uh, 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 car, right? Damn train station. I mean, they said they say Tyler Perry stayed in his car. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tyler Perry. I'm pretty sure Tyler Perry stayed in his car, but like, he was building. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're doing. He you, you getting traction? You getting traction? Okay. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I can't see I, I, when you building. And you moving in a certain direction. Shit, like hell, I did a whole damn chitlin circuit. Right. From o o one to damn o six or something. Right. I I know I ain't no man. I, I know the bullshit that I went through, right? right. So I can say and just say I was selling, but I had traction. I'm okay. moving in this direction. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure he might have been doing his little certain such skits and doing this kind of things. I'm, you can't see him tell me that he just was doing it and shit wasn't happening. Right. Now the traction still might be, but it had to be doing this. A little right? bit of traction. Yeah, something. Right? You just can't be sitting there just, I'm just doing this, I'm doing that and everything. Oh, uh, remember the movie Acrimony? Okay. Like that brother, did you ever see that? Uh-huh. Man, you just seen the brother, he, he just was doing this and doing this and all that other kind of stuff, we're doing it and everything. That's tough. Mm-hmm. I don't know shit gonna go like that, man. I, I don't, that, 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 that was a straight Tyler Perry movie. Right. Where you sitting there like, oh, after a while, now he got this $50 million and now he give her the money and everything. He, he kept that and all that kind of stuff. That's just a fairy tale. Can it happen? It can happen. Yeah. But you think that you're going to go through 20 some years and you don't blew through all the savings and all this other kind of stuff. Because at the end of the day, I don't think the guy was, he was hurt. His, his girl, you know, had left. But at, in, in all reality, shit, man, like he was shocked. Right. But he, his dream was so much, you know, mm-hmm. I, like I, I, I shared before. I know what I went through when I really wanted to leave, 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 leave my job. Mm-hmm. I know what personal sacrifices I made right. to sit here financially 
let me do this day so I can leave my job. So I, I understood. I went from, and my family didn't, and you know what, man, I, I will say this too. My family didn't have no damn uh, uh, dropping lifestyle. Right, right, right. You know, from when I went self-employed. Right. I was very, very conscious of, of it. Of that part. You know what I'm saying? I was very conscious of that. Now, Make sure I, they sustain. Yeah, they sustain, right? You, you know? Not yeah. necessarily you. Now, me, yeah. I mean, me, yeah. But I made, my family didn't have no damn whatever mm -hmm. I, I, uh, 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 from that. But 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 sometimes when you get a certain point, you, you, you know you may be happy or certain thing. That shit just don't flow with everybody. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get and, what you're and, saying. And, 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 and that's why I say sometimes with that settling piece, because I, I ain't never be the person to tell folks don't pursue what you want, mm -hmm. don't follow your chase your dreams. Or if you feel like you ain't happy and stuff, because you got one life to live. Mm -hmm. And in the past, uh, past couple of years, I don't lost several of my close friends mm -hmm. that you know may have you know. Had certain things that they passed. Some may have taken their lives this day. Life precious as hell. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I'm a big proponent. Enjoy life. Do what's best for you. Right. But sometimes you got to be realistic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like realistically they, living in a dream. You know, <laughs> uh, you know uh, I thought that was very inspirational. Where you see, where, 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 where a couple weeks ago, you see mm -hmm. Killer Mike get that Grammy. Right, right. You know, the saw, you know, in you know, your 40s and pursue that. Right. Oh, I thought that was pretty pretty big. That was inspiration to do right. that. was cool. But I forget off subject. I think if we if we the Grammys are going through it, if you think probably the hottest album of the year, right? My girl Six of Red should have got that. <laughs> that's another show. That's another show. That's another show. Got her eye was hot. Hey, 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 ski. Everybody ski. Hey, ski. That's a whole now, I show. think that's who the Grammy should have went to now. <laughs> Ski. No, no. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey now, now, again, ain't nobody said that. <laughs> album of the year. She wasn't even nominated. I don't think she has an album. Oh, Ski. I don't think she has an album. She didn't think she got an album. I think they all singles. They all singles. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that might well that that might be a reason. Six said boo. boo ski. <laughs> That's everybody. Their mama ski. You couldn't find nobody probably give you one killer, one two killer mics on. I can do it now. But everybody knows ski. Everybody know that. Babies, to yes, babies, sir. babies coming out the womb to yes, sir. To grown grandmas at the club. <laughs> now, coochie pink, my booty hole brain. Pound town, pound town. <laughs> You know too many words. Uh, that's it. Oh, everybody know it. Everybody know it. Hell, president, president know it. Everybody you know, too know many it. Words, that's yeah. Everybody know it. The six red bones said, "Really, she made a hot single. No, she made more than a single. She made song. I don't know, but lad, that's a good point. But I'm just saying. Right. Uh, right. Shit, I'm just saying. Now, you know. Okay. It's my personal opinion. You know, and that's not to diminish anything. Right. But 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 I say that it is very very inspirational. Uh, the, to see that brother do that, you know, especially like, you know, to go that kind, you know, I'm pretty, and I know, you know, he was a wearing on, what was that, what was that, Run the Jewels? Uh -huh. you know, that group and everything. So, yeah. you know, I, I know that brother put in work, I don't want to diminish that. But that's that's really inspiration, right. just staying down with, with doing it. So, I'm not trying to tell nobody to, to not, but when we start going into, when we said folks saying settling and all that kind of stuff, I think sometimes we got to look at it like, just ask yourself sometimes, am I chasing something? That ain't there. That ain't there. That ain't you know what I'm saying? Real yeah. talk. Real yeah, talk. That's a good that's a you good know? realization. Like Yeah. Yeah. Am I running the circuit? Am I chasing my tail? I don't know. That you gotta look. What's up, LTA Radio? What's the, going hey, on? Man, hey man, I'm I'm, 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 I'm I'm being straight up with it. Uh -huh. And I don't think people a lot of times, you know, it may be looking at it sometimes like they admitting defeat. What what, what Rick say? <laughs> don't let me find out you got a CD. <laughs> Ski <laughs> <laughs> everybody, hey man, everybody bumping six and red. Yeah. <laughs> Pound town. SIT 442. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a verse from Killer Mike album. Uh, I, 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 I know, I know, I know. I need an Andre hey, 3000 verse. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> That's hey, the only verse I know. That shit will be on Jeopardy. That shit will be on Jeopardy. <laughs> yeah, that shit will be on Jeopardy. And like I said again, again, and like I said, I don't know the criteria, but that was one of the first things I was thinking about it at the uh, at the Grammys. Like, damn, you know, this will be like a six of red sweet. I don't think she got a full album though. That's the that's the issue with that. 
all the songs that she brought out has been singles. That's fair enough. If that, if, if that's, yeah. If that's the point where they, 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 that's fair enough. Yeah. Uh, a lot uh, of times now with these new artists, they just bring out singles, 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 and then what they do after they get singles get popular, they get popular, then they decide to put an album together. Yeah. I, no, no. And, and, you know, like, and, 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 and you know, uh, uh, um, um, even with that young lady, I don't know what she's been through. You know, like I said, I always, you know, be a big proponent of success. And I see certain people do certain things, wait or come back later and do it. So it's it's cool, pursue it. But when we start talking about these things but in regards to settling and knowing certain things in life, I think far too often we got to stop, pump the brakes sometimes with life and like, look, mm -hmm. you know, appreciate some of the shit you have. Right. Appreciate some of the shit you have. Mm -hmm. And if you feel like some things are holding you back and being stagnant, like I say, man, we got one life to live. Right. Enjoy your life. Enjoy yeah. your life. Yeah. But do not ever, ever, ever get uh, some shit temporary or fun confused with reality. Right. And I think that happens more than anything. More than anything. Yeah. yeah. You, you know, that. You know this is fun, this is great, this right. is different, and everything. God knows I've been there and done it. Lord, <laughs> if any MF can tell you about that. Oh, so you Lord. can tell them. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Right. I lost my mind. <laughs> She is fun. She is great. <laughs> she won the best thing for me. Fun. I, I, poison. Oh, man. She would not poison, man. That was one of the best times, but that shit went right, man. Just, Lord, boy, boy, boy. Right. She was fun. Right. And fun wasn't the best. You feel me? Right. And fun, big, big picture. Sometimes it's not the best. Hell no. Hell no. And that's why I can tell people that. Like, uh -huh. you know, real talk. Because that's why I told you. The new shit eventually turns to the old shit. Right. And you're like, man. It's worse than the last one. <laughs> you know what I mean? People are like, man, I should have kept my wife. I right. I should have kept my husband. I right. should have did this, that, and that. Right. I should have stayed in my damn job. <laughs> I don't know why the hell I moved. Right. right. I mean, real talk. Like, right. Real talk. And you be like, man, I know I can do more. I can do this, that, and that. And, 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 and in actuality, you can do more, or mm. quote unquote, more, or do different. Right. But it may not necessarily be the best thing. Right. And that's why I say sometimes we had to ponder the brakes and just kind of do that. Self assessment. When I always talk about that lab, like that, that shit difficult. Mm -hmm. That shit difficult because we 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 we, we want so much for us. Mm -hmm. We have like you know uh, uh, standards that we have created for ourselves and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Now I, I don't want nobody to say you no know, sell themselves short. Right. But at the end of the day, like I said, you got to really be realistic away yet for certain things. You know, I'm at a point. You know, twenty years in business, I ain't trying to do all this damn. Uh, <laughs> you, see that uh, you know. Selling and fly, fly man. You know, yeah. I'd be out there. The damn mall putting damn flies, flies up out, there. Yeah. Man, I, I wish the hell I would now. <laughs> Shit. I ain't trying. You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of times, you know, people maybe do meet and greets and do certain. I'm right. not trying to do all that shit now. Right. Like, About 20 you know years saying? in, right? I got a whole boatload of grandkids that came to me. Right. A whole boatload of grandkids. Like, right. I. You know what I'm saying? I still be, you know, but I'm cool. Uh -huh. And I'm all right. So I'm not trying to do certain things. You know what I'm saying? Right. And so, that, and I think certain times people. Um, may have think that certain things didn't happen to them, and they encounter certain stuff. Uh -huh. Tried, uh -huh. but that doesn't mean that's gonna be the best thing for you. What are we putting now? Uh, you gotta wait until people's representative are gone, and then and they and they feel like they can be themselves. Shit, that representative so damn good. Shit, I ain't even mind. I mean, sitting man, this is a good representative. <laughs> I love this representative. Well, they use the representative to blind you to the real thing. You Shit. won't even be able to notice it. Call me Ray Charles. Right. <laughs> Yo, Jim. Shit. That, you, that you, thing you. be so good, you be like, did that happen? That ain't happening. But the gone song says, if you feel this good getting used, won't you right. keep on using me? Yeah. Till you use me, If love, you know? love you is wrong, I don't want to be, be right. right. <laughs> Let me wrong with fuck yes, <laughs> Keep it coming, keep it coming. <laughs> I hit my damn mortgage late, my car don't late. No, boy. Boy, shit. Yeah. Boy, if this, if, if, if this is being a fool, it feel like shit. Keep on. God, God. Keep on. I love being a fool. <laughs> <That's what you're laughs> Keep Shit. on using me till you use me up. Mm. <laughs> Shit. Boy, boy. <laughs> hey, yeah. Say the red bone saying that's true. <laughs> but, but listen, man, we done had fun tonight, man. I hope we shared a lot in as far as the conversation in regards to, you know, are you selling, are you at your own speed? And I just hope 
you know, leading out of the conversation tonight, we gave people some things just to think on. You know, we don't never talk about in regards to this wrong, this right, but everybody got a different opinion. Mm -hmm. I just want people to sit here and just, get from, from however you feel, mm -hmm. stop for a minute and just think. Think. Ten. Just think. Just think. Give yourself just whatever and everything like mm -hmm. that. So, you know, you, you know it, it, it's all fun and games thinking. Mm -hmm. But there's some folks in a left situation. Now they sitting there and they, they, they playing some, you know, that Mary J crying. <laughs> Smoking Newports <laughs> and then got a prescription. Right, right, right. You right. know what I'm saying? <laughs> because, you know, something they thought was right. better. Right. It's just some of the same shit they had, you know what I'm saying? Maybe worse. Because, <laughs> I mean, dealing with bullshit a whole lot easier to deal with right. when you're younger. Well, you know what the bullshit yeah, is. Yeah, oh, you know, so I can't, you can handle, you can handle recovery from bullshit better in 20 and 30 right. than 40 and 50. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, yeah, that, you know what I'm saying? Hey, real talk, man. You going, you like, that's some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you dealing with, you know what I'm saying? All kind of stuff. Shit. Anybody. Thank you, Lonely Night. Like I said, <laughs> wait sure. till the night. Wait till the night. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Bobby. Bobby, 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 let you know that. Wait until the night. And you know, like I said, that could be applicable to relationships, career, anything. Everything. So that was say sometimes just do that self assessment. We just, always think we not when it comes to uh, we gonna get out when it comes to we did touch on careers, but we always feel like we selling when it comes to careers. Like that is just automatic. It's like I don't care if they paying us two hundred thousand dollars a year. We always think we should be making three fifty. Lay up, you know, it, when I left my job. When I left my job, and I at one point I loved my job, mm -hmm. cause my job allowed me. I was making, I had it all. Right. Nice office downtown. I get to walk out of the office, see pretty big legs and them <laughs> skirts and all that good stuff. My right. boys are coming lunch. to my office. Hey, lunch. Oh, all, all that stuff. All right. But when they left and put me in that damn, when they moved and put me in a cubicle. Oh. Everything, man, you got me. <laughs> hey, man, it just went downhill. Give me motas, no, right. all that kind of stuff, and it changed. Uh -huh. But it still had to kind of, to your point, the other stuff, the right. yo, this, that, and all that other kind of stuff. You know, you weigh in on kind of thing, and I really thought, I really thought, and it also took in the fear factor and all that other kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I can just, you know, I'm, I'm personal experience. You know what I'm saying? I can really just say I know how frightening change can, can be, be right and i also know from other personal experiences how fun can distort your vision mm -hmm. of reality mm -hmm. real talk real talk you know real what i'm saying talk, yeah. so you know i i've been there done that and that's why i said tell people just stop for a minute get your ass away from the situation for a second just think mm -hmm. it, it, it's new just better new just fun new just temporary right. you know what i'm saying or maybe hey listen this I, I've, I've been enlightened. This shit is different. I think I can do this. Mm -hmm. It may be that way, but I just think far too often we move on emotion instead of logic. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's true. You know, so I just, you know, hope we gave everybody some stuff to think on. I appreciate everybody tuning in. Again, this is Change the Life, host by your truly, Deontay Burton. If I could ask everybody to do one thing for me, no matter what platform you're looking at us at, be it Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, and Twitter. Please go to Changing Lives, hosted by Deontay Burden. Got a blue man logo icon. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Really trying to grow at this show. Really, really, really. And I'm going to give it a, all our effort to make that come. I'm going to do a whole lot more additional stuff with more live feeds, more group discussions and stuff like that. Try to grow the channel and stuff like that. So definitely go there. But also, guys, make sure you go to my finance channel, Mr. Short Dollar. You know, Mr. Short Dollar, Google it. You'll see this big handsome face come up and everything. Subscribe to the channel. Take advantage of all the great information. You got a lot of good information on both YouTube channels. Because, mm -hmm. you know, we have fun helping people, right? That's right. And that's been the whole premise of doing everything that we're doing. So we had a lot of fun tonight. Had a lot of fun tonight. So listen, guys, you know, have fun, but be smart. Be safe out there. Take care of yourself. Thanks for all this love and support. And I will talk with you soon. Thank you.